I've not done a video for about five days because I've been practicing making some stuff and I wanted to make sure I could do it before I showed you if you know what I mean when my friend Moosey sent me the Dremel he also sent me some sheets of real Kydex so past few days I've been practicing making some stuff out of Kydex now these red ones this is still the HDPE but these oh and this one's HDPE but this stuff this is all Kydex I'll bring this camera closer in a minute but this is probably the best one I've done so far and what I'll do I'll just go over these and show you I'm sure I'm show you some of the stuff I've been using in that and then when I know I'm good enough to do it I'll actually do you a proper video of making one right, so I'll show you the best one last well that's one I've made out of HDPE and you can see that's gradually getting better from the first one I made and this stuff was from a big 25 litre oil drum or an oil can and this stuff to be honest is as thick as some real Kydex it's over a millimetre thick I'm sure it is that's a Kydex one, proper Kydex done with, with Chicago screws this one I might still change later I had two pieces of white, so I thought first thing I'd do, I'd practice for those. And that fits the Mora companion. That was another one that I'd half done. You can see the, the shape of the blade and the handle there. That looks like that's come out pretty well. I haven't finished that one obviously, got to cut it out. One I'd practiced on, but this is still, this is the Finn HDPE. But you can see that's getting better as well. That was a thinner oil can. And I wanted to make this one at HDPE because this was part of my repurposed bushcraft kit which was this was a great big long it was a carving knife but it was about this long you know, it was about five or six inches longer than what it already was about that long and i'd cut it in half and then reshaped it again and then reshaped the handle slightly so i wanted something like recycled to put back on it so i made that go with it it doesn't fit perfect won't come out but because it hasn't really got anything to grab onto much there and then I'd made this one out of this is real kydex and this is for <coughs> standard Halter for his heavy duty knife. And what I use on this one is copper rivets. But I need to work these a little bit better, get do a bit more practice on making those better. I wanted to kind of do stuff different to how other people do it. And then I'd also done a HDPE one, but I've not finished that yet. That needs some rivets or something on it. And then that was a similar one to the HDPE one. Oh, and if you wonder what this 
cutaway on each of these was it was for wrapping paracord round and then it would keep it in place To be honest, this one came out better than that one. This one looks neater. And then lastly, was the best one that came out, which is this one for the, the Halterfers. And this is the best one I've done so far. And I've put a belt, a belt loop each way, so <coughs> you could carry it scout style or once I've put this bit on it, carry it on a belt, you know, upside down, whatever. Two Chicago screws and two like pop rivets, whatever you call them. So you could take this off. And this one is tight. And even put give it a little bit of a thumb, I don't know what you call that, thumb bit. It's tight. But that means you could carry it upside down that'd never ever come out. So that's the best one I've done so far. I'm pretty pleased with that one. <coughs> and the way I've been doing these and forming them is I've got a bit of this. Oh yeah, but first of all, what I found, if you do HDPE, this is my opinion, HDP is easier if you do it the way I did it before, where you get some bits of wood and a piece of leather and heat it up, wrap it in the leather and then put your bits of wood on where you need them and then maybe a bit there or just a clamp there and clamp it in place and that's how I did these ones and this one HDPE seems slightly harder to do in a foam mould <coughs> it doesn't seem to take the shape so well it seems to need a bit more pressure unless it just needs more heating and this and what I've used here this is I think we call a kneeling pad for when you're in the garden you know, if you're in the garden and people want something to kneel on if they're doing their weeding or whatever this is what this was I had to cut the top off of this one because it had lots of dents and holes in it so I cut that off well that's what I made this one out of all I did, not using an oven either, I heated the Kydex up with a heat gun and then every now and again what I would do, I would heat it up and I would just check it with my hand, heat it up, just lift it up and if it's really flopping, if it starts really flopping like paper, then I whack it on, whack it on, put the knife on fold it over, put the other one on and then what I also did, I didn't clamp it all I did was put it on the floor and then stood on it and put all my weight on it and that's how it comes out so it's definitely doable with a heat gun and just standing on the thing if I can sort it out later to make a proper clamp or you know like a proper press with clamps and that'll do it but this is working so far. <coughs> the last thing I just wanted to show you was this. It's just a little holder, like a little necklace holder. 
for an Oppenauer knife. And that was just simple to do, just fold it over and put two rivets in it. And that one, to be honest, I just formed by hand. All I did was heated it up, wrapped it round. This is actual Kydex as well. Wrapped it round, put a bit of leather around it like this. And just formed it, just by pressing it into place with my hand. So that's a few things I've been making and why I haven't been doing many videos. Because each night I've been practice on, pra <coughs> practicing on these. And over the week, I've been trying to figure stuff out, like I was using other bits of foam, wasn't working. I was trying to do the Kydex with the leather, didn't think it working. I gradually got these different bits. I had some other foam, but it seems way too soft, and not seem to work properly. So just been trying different things, and finally I got to be able to make that one. So I thought that's pretty good. If I could make a few more like that. And I'll definitely do a video of making some stuff out of Kydex. Anyway, thought I'd just share that with you so you knew what I'd been doing over the week. A couple more things I'm going to do as well. <clears throat> I've been given some geese to skin or pluck and eat, whatever. So be prepared to see a dead animal. So there's some geese there. I've got to pluck those. Add a bit of a tidying up in here as well. So, <coughs> that's a couple of things I've been doing and sooner rather than later I'll do a video of making some out of Kydex skin those in a video as well we've got a few more other ideas and all that right so anyway cheers for watching and i'll see you later if you like that video then why don't you share it with your friends and also if you want to see regular videos like this then subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching if you want to get full notifications for my channel go to this little gear symbol next to where it says subscribed Click on that and here where it says send me all notifications for this channel, click on that and then save it.